Oh, this is wicked. Just back off that drag. Let them play out now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thick here. Oh, yes. On the surface. Got him. No. Hell. Oh, wow. Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode. Down at Parsons Beach on the quest of finding those big ones. This is the only gutter that's here today. I uh, walked all the way down the other end, or well, near enough to it. And it's, there's only one gutter here, unfortunately. So, there is supposed to be a bike window this morning. It's eight o'clock, which is about the current time. I don't want to get wet this morning. It's very, very cold. But uh, I am starting off with a 25 grammer because you don't need a cast as far as you want as you have to really. You want to try and find them as close as possible. Save your shoulders, your arms, and your hands. Got the uh, nine foot sea bass casts 20 to 60 grams. So I got the 25 grammer on this morning. 25 laser. Then I might get out to 40. Got 4,000 size revelry. And it's the 2020 basically. You always go 20 pound road, 20 pound litre. Don't really need to go any heavier than that. I'll just try these shallows here. It's got that milky, cloudy, sandy looking colour. They should be hiding in there. Do a close cast for a first up. I don't want to get wet. Looks like I'm going to though. Not a bad gutter. Oh wow, that water's cold. I swear the beach knows when I'm in the water, eh? I'm not sure if I just snapped off on the rocks. I reckon I have, I've just lost everything then. Oh, that's a great start. I don't know what happened there. Just lost that 25 grammer. Who was that? I don't know whether I got bitten off. Well, that was the 25 gram favourite I had, so I have to put this 35 grammer on. They still get some distance, but I don't know what happened there. I, I struck. It felt like something had it, and then it just gone. I didn't even snag up. There shouldn't, there's not really a snag here on this right-hand side. There is on the left. I don't know what happened there. Well, I've got extra distance now, but I don't know what happened. Oh, there they are. There's a school in the shallows. Yes. I just spotted them. Only a trout at the moment. Maybe something big did snip me off. That's not a bad start, actually. Chunky 30 centimetre or so. The whole school is right up and close here, dark. I thought I was seeing things at first. Just lob it directly in front of me here. You don't need to cast 100 metres all the time. Got him. Now I've sorted my shit out. <laughs> We're on, like Donkey Kong. That's two in two casts. And that's not a bad model either. Getting bigger. Yep. Probably around 33, maybe even 34 centimetres. Well, 
that's two from two on the single hooks just loving it out one two three four five got him in five seconds Dropped him, not, oh no, they are, geez, they're going spastic. Well, I dropped that one, took five seconds to get a hit. And there's a big dark complexion in the, in the water here. It's all dark. It's a thick skull of salmon. The quest is to find that PB. Got him at my feet. Right here, look at this. Whoa! They followed it right up to my ankles. I don't know if that picked it up on camera. Got him. Could be foul hooked by the feel of this. I reckon it's foul hooked. If not, it's a two kilo. And it's basically foul hooked. It's getting bigger though. Yes, that's definitely 35 centimeters. Oh, it wasn't foul hooked. I thought it was. Nice. Thick skull in here. Oh yes, this is fantastic. I've been having some fishless trips. A lot of fishless trips lately. And this has just brightened up my day. I've been unwell as well. Oh, this is wicked. Just back off that drag. Let them play out now. Oh yeah, here, yeah. thick here. Oh yes, on the surface, got him. No, hell. Oh wow. Oh yeah. This is thicker than that's ever been. Wow. <laughs> Go right at the back. See if there's some big ones out there. They are usually in two schools. You've got the big ones surrounding the small ones. That's a small one. I reckon. Well, it won't take long for me to get my jumper off, my jacket. That is a it's not the worst, it's still a reasonable size, around that 33 centimetre mark. Fat salmon trout, another nice model. There's a hot bite for about an hour, I'm making the most of this. Maybe something did bite me off. Must be a jolly big salmon. Well, I just had two casts without a fish. How's that? It shut down pretty quick. Or they move and try to the right hand side. You see a slight shadow there. Oh, yeah, I landed straight on it. Geez, polarized glasses are good. Oh, yep. Got him. I wish I had my 25 grammer because I think they're just slightly a bit too small for this big lure. Such shallow water. It's nice to have a smaller one. I've got a 25 gram, another 25 gram I could put on actually. Got him. Oh, look at them following them. 
I don't know if I can zoom in on the uh, editing. You can see them in the waves. Still nothing huge yet. Good hookup rate so far. I've only lost one fish so far. Oh. Oh, got that one. Another nice trout size thing. Just unhooked itself. Nice colour. Very nice cut. It's almost got a, like a like a uh, tr uh, like a tailor type colour to it. Unusual. I haven't seen a uh, salmon with. It's it's got no spots. It's just completely silver. Look at that. An unusual salmon. It's definitely a salmon because there's no teeth. Wow. See you later. That had a strange colour on it. Oh yes. That's a bit better. Or not. Now it should go nuts, the, the moon's about to set. Yeah, that's just a trout. I don't mind if that one comes off, but it did. It's definitely a dark complexion in the colour. Just landed on it. I reckon this school's about the size of about a hundred. I mean, you, you get thousands on the west coast, but down this part of the world you normally just get packs of a hundred you can just see this little black ring swimming around they may have actually come from out back apparently there's a uh, I've heard there's a whale around the place so they could have coming in here. Get away from it. Might put a small little metal on. Alright, you know, switched over to this little 25 little slammer. Ah, uh, slammer. 25 grammar. It, since I don't need a cast so far for these things today, just takes a bit of pressure off your cast. You only have to lob it out. Got it. Well, they say less is more. I reckon this is quite a big fish. Oh, nah, maybe not. <laughs> it felt big at the start. Oh, it's because it's half our hook. It's in the side of the face. Made it a bit feel bigger than what it was. It's in one of those compromised spots. Oh, see that? I don't know if it picked it up. Oh! I don't know what the angle's like on this thing. Just angle it down a little bit more. Might be able to see how close they get to the shore. I'm just casting about there. 
not very far at all, just behind that breaker. That just broke and then bang. Just behind the, the breaker on the actual shoreline. This where they're sitting at the moment. It's not very big. That's no, just a trout. See the difference in colour though? You've got all those spots all over it, yellow and black. Little brown spots I mean. And but that other one I had before is completely silver. I don't know whether it crossbred with something. I don't know, I've never seen a smaller salmon with no spots on it before. That's a slightly bigger cast. Still not that far. Whoa! That's a big fish. Unless I've foul hooked it again. Because that seems to make them feel ten times bigger and he got off of course because it would have been big or it could have been foul hooks like I thought go oh, again plenty of action there something swimming in with that I had no weight then the whole time they swam the whole way in It felt like I had nothing on the end of my line. It's good getting on the board early because you don't have to spend all day. You end up wearing yourself out. So I've got a few other places to explore today. Not the salmon, just in general. I just got wetter than I would like to then. Bloody hell. It's only like two degrees, which is unusual for the coast. Well, I've just temporarily lost these guys. I've had about 20 casts without a hit. So have they turned off already? It's possible. The moon has set. Funny enough, it's a, it's a low tide as well. So it just goes to show, it doesn't need to be high tide every all the time. You can have a low tide situation like this. Look back at the tides. If there was a big tide last night, they've come in full moon and they'll probably stay here. But with the moon just setting, it might have put them to sleep for the day. Well, I've just dropped my first salmon after quite a while. Again, I pressed record and dropped him. So I did see a few there. Let's cast back out there. I did cast a bit further. They, they went a bit further out for a while. Quite a way out, actually. Almost need to put a heavier metal back on. Cast them in closer. So one more large cast and then put a uh, heavier one back on. I mean, it sounds silly swapping out the weights. I just like to reel in with less weight on the end of the line. Especially with rips like this, you can feel there's a lot of current in the water. These are where all the fish will be sitting today. There's only one gutter down here today. One noticeable one, anyhow. Just filming on the phone because on the GoPro you can't zoom in like this. So you'll see there, there's all the waves breaking. There's a sandbar right down the end there where the big white water break was there. And all along here, it's quite deep water. And then it goes back to waves again. And that's where all the sandbars are, where the waves are breaking. So you're better off fishing directly in front of me here's a perfect scenario no waves breaking and it goes right out to probably half a kilometer out the back very interesting 
Let's see if they're still back there. The salmon might be right out the back now and I've got the bigger lure on. Just thought I'll show you what it looks like. It's on GoPro or DJI I'm using now, but you can't zoom in like that, only on the editing. And it doesn't pick it up as clear. It's only one thing about those action cameras. They're not as good with that sort of stuff. Can't beat an iPhone though. You can see how how calm and collective it is out here. It's quite nice. And I've got the wind behind my back, which is also another great scenario. Helps with the casting. What also helps with the casting is a longer rod. I mean, I did. Get, oh, I've got him. We'll get back to that in a minute. And I've just found the fish again. But it's not awfully big. But it's nice to be back on the board. I haven't seen it yet, don't know. Oh, there we are. Just a little trout after all that. But we're back on the board after about... 20 minutes, or maybe 10, 10 minutes, just took a while to locate them again, I've got a sneaky suspicion they're going out a bit further now, in saying that, I'm hooking them on the beach again, they must have followed the lure all the way in, I did that big cast and now they're back in the, in the shallows again, or the drop off, but it just drops off. One, two, three. Oh, had a hit. They're all on it. Oh, it's bubbling up on the surface there. Got him. Oh, they're all on it. Nah, I reckon he unhooked himself because someone else, another fish, hooked himself. It's hectic. Wow. I'll try and get some footage on the water there for you guys. I mean, it would be nice to get one of those big thumpers, but I'm happy with this little ripper of a session. I'm only going to give it another half an hour or so, really. If I don't get a big one by then, I'm still happy. I've got to see some different colours. And explain, good day to explain what to look for on the beach remembering if you're looking for <coughs> not only looking at gutters it's those footsteps on the beach and I've just made a whole heap walking back and forth I'm going to have 10 more cars I don't catch anything call it a session I mean, it was pretty quick. It's only an hour since I got down to the beach, so I'm happy with that. I'm not worn out. I can go and have a look at different styles of fishing for the day. I've got a, a, a freshwater stream I wouldn't mind testing out, but I'm pretty sure this is all she wrote this morning. Well, that's about all this morning I'm going to call it a day and I've got us some other exploring to do well, I hope this video was in, had enough information in it for you today I uh, try to explain exactly where I go fishing down here or any beach you can use the same philosophy and went for the choice of gear and also these uh, when it comes to lures well you can pick any any metal lure and they'll chase at us. I'd imagine you're just sort of looking at the size there. And don't forget those clips, they're very handy to use. Quick chain. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. If you got anything out of this video and you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It helps the video get that kick start it needs. Thanks very much for watching.